Hello and welcome to the first subject of the month for 2016. This month, Philip and I are going to take you through one of our most popular modules, and that's the Uniform app. The app is designed to allow you to access information and enter information on the cows away from the Office PC. What devices does it run on? Well, the good news is it runs on both Android and Apple devices. If the farm has Android and Apple devices, do they need to buy two licenses? No, you just buy the one license and you have an Android version and you have an Apple version. Can you show me how to use it? Yes, certainly. What we'll do first of all, we'll go and look for information on cow number two. So we can use the search screen, put two, and here we get the first page. So we can see straight away the date of birth, age, the year tag number, and of course the status. What else can I see? Well, if you go to the top right hand side, you then have a menu, and this is all the information that you can access. So let's have a look at lactation. So here I can see her expected 305 is 14,000. Correct. So that's based on her current production and stage of lactation. That's what we predict that she's going to achieve. Okay, let's go back again. Let's have a look at reproduction. So can number two, she calved, she was served, PD negative, served again, and now she's positive. And we can tell that because we use the colors in the program and the app, so green denotes the fact that she's pregnant. So if we access more information, let's have a look at her health record. There we can see what's happened. Any drugs that have been used. So let's keep going. We'll have a look at milk production now. So these are the individual recordings for the current lactation. Her cell counts look good. They are. Let's have a look at the last milk meters. So here's the individual milk meter yields. And we'll record the last 12 days. Can I enter information? Yeah, on the bottom right hand side, this is all the information that we can enter. So heats, health, sales, PDs, concentrates, drying off, carving obviously, and group changes. So let's go back to the main screen and explain a little bit more about how we can look at the information. So what we have is we have the animal record, we have the search facility, we have batch entry, more about that later. We have our dashboard where we can look at the key performance indicators. And then we have our herdsman's action list. All the cows due to come bulling, PD, dry off, cows to calve, and tasks. So let's enter some information so I can show you how easy it is to use. So first of all, let's go to the heat. And we'll say today that cow number 655 was served. So simply select the cow, then select the action. So it was a service. Then we can select the bull. And then we can say yes. And that's it done. We'll enter a PD. Can number 67. So again, confirm. She's pregnant. And say yes. How about a carving? We'll say 516 carved. She carved yesterday, so I can just use the minus key. We can confirm that. It was a male calf, but unfortunately it died. And that's it done. Now how about using batch entry? We'll go and dry some cows off. So the first thing it does, we can select get from action list, and that will pull up all the cows that are due to dry off. But maybe you want to dry a cow off early. So let's select cow number 17, and that will then add her to the list. Okay, all these cows are going to be dried off using the same treatment. But maybe we want to remove one of the cows from the list because we're going to use a different form of dry cow therapy. So the principle is exactly the same. We can just use the minus key and take the cow off the list. So we're happy with that. Let's go through now and dry these animals off. So we can put in the treatment. In this case, we'll say we use Orbisil. We have the four tubes. And that is the information entered. 
How can I check that it has been entered? Okay, what you need to do there is go right to the top right hand side and if you look at registrations, those are all the events that you've entered. Okay, what happens if I make a mistake? Yeah, okay, let's say for example um, 67 wasn't pregnant, we made a mistake. We can just select it and then we can edit it. Delete pregnancy status and it's as simple as that. Okay. Is there anything else you can show me? Yes, yeah, certainly we have the task section. So if we go in there. Now you need to set up the herdsman's action list with either action scheduler or treatment plans. And we have a specific action list for the app. And as you can see, that will then come through onto that menu. We also have the vet checklist, which is very popular because it means you don't need to carry loads of paper. So if we just have a look at that. Let's have a look at can number 29. Why is she on the list? Well, the reason the vet needs to see her is, is obvious. The fact that she's not pregnant, she's been in milk 169 days. I can really see how useful that would be on a vet visit. Yeah, and the really good news is you only need a permanent Wi-Fi connection where the PC is to sync it. This means that you can use it anywhere on the farm. Can you show me how to synchronize it? Yes, only if we go to the top right hand side and then select the option synchronize. And we have three options, receive new data, View changes, which is the registrations. This is where we can actually just check the information that we've entered mm -hmm. or send and receive new data. So this will send the events that we've entered into the app and we receive the latest data then from the PC. So select yes. And then we can see the information going backwards and forwards. It now prepares the dashboard. And you can see how quick it is. This is with a herd of over 500 cows. So I hope the subject of the month has proved helpful. You can see how flexible it is, how easy it is to enter information. And if you have any questions at all, please contact the help desk.